always. If you're grateful that God kept you and covered you, you ought to put those hands together and bless the name of our God. just begin to worship God in this place. Worship him how you worship him. I know it's Sunday morning, hadn't started yet, but it's a good day to give God some glory. Happy Mother's Day to everyone, all the mothers, amen. Come on, just begin to worship God in this place. If you're grateful that he kept you, if you're grateful that he covered you, if you're grateful, how many grateful folk we got in the place? Come on, amen. Hallelujah. Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you for being so good to me so good come on clap those hands oh lord i just want to thank you can we have a little church oh lord i just want to thank you oh lord i just want to thank you lord i just want to thank you i want to thank you for being so good to me, so good. Now don't talk to me, talk to him. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. Hey, Lord, I just want to, oh, Lord. Come on, let me be great about the, oh, Lord, Lord. Thank you for being so good to me. Come on, put your hands on. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. Hey, Lord. Oh, Lord. Hey. I want to thank you for being so good to me. Hey, Lord, I just want to thank you. Hey, Lord. Oh, Lord, Lord. Anybody grateful in this house? Oh, Nothing else to say, but Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I 
just wanna thank you, yeah. I just wanna thank you. Yeah, I wanna One more time, Lord, I just wanna. Lord, I just wanna thank you. Let me, let me, let me, let me hear you, Lord. Lord, I just wanna thank you. Oh, 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 Lord. Lord, I just wanna thank you. Oh, Lord, Lord. Lord, I just wanna thank you. Oh, I wanna. One more time, Lord, I just want to. Lord, I just want to thank you. Anybody here thankful, Lord? Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, 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 I just want to thank you. Hey, Lord, Lord, I just want to thank you. Come on, one more time with our music. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to Come on, you ought to put your hand and your feet to it. Lord, I just. He didn't have to wake me up this morning and start me on my way. Oh, 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 Lord, I just want to thank you. Come on, if you're really thankful in this house, come on, clap those hands. Come on, you want to tell him thank you in this house. He did not to wake you up this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Yeah. Look like I see some grateful folk on this side of the church. Are anybody grateful on this side of the church? Anybody grateful in the middle of the aisle? Amen. Hallelujah. Psalm simply says, I just want to praise you forever. Amen. David says, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praise shall continually be in our mouth. Come on, Jay. Come on, clap those hands. Come on, y'all know this. Come on, just wanna praise you. Just wanna praise you forever, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, for all, for all you've done, you've done for me, for me. Come on, blessings and glory. Blessings and glory and honor, and honor, they all, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing.
blessing. Just wanna praise you forever, 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 and ever, and ever, and ever, for all, for all you done, for all for all all me. me. Oh, yeah. blessings and glory. Blessing for blessing me. Here we go. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Oh, my soul. And all and all that is within me. Bless. time. I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his Clap those hands in this building and give God some praise. If you came to bless him today, come on, if you came to lift him on today, come on, he's worthy of all the praise. He's worthy of all the glory. From the rising of the sun until the going down of the same sun, our God is still worthy to be praised. There's a wonderful spirit in this place. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. God from whom all is flow. Him all here below. Him above. 
Good morning, Greater Bethel family and friends. And happy Mother Day to all the mothers. Amen. 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 I call to worship. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. Write the vision and make it plain, that he may run that readeth it. All, for the vision is yet for a point of time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. The vision, the vision of our ministry is to build upon the whole person by providing theological sound, biblical teaching, effective worship, commitment to family, and emphasis on understanding personal purpose. Good morning, Greater Bethel. Happy Mother's Day to all of our mothers. As we get ready to sing the, this faithful hymn of the church, praise of our mothers, faith of our mothers, living still in cradle song and bedtime prayer. In nursery lore and fireside love, thy presence still pervades the air. Faith of our mothers, living faith, we will be true to thee till death. Without further line, let us sing along with the choir. Faith of our mothers.
Scripture, those that are watching virtually, um, just pray. Amen. We've been having trouble with our internet provider, Cox Cable, for about five weeks now. And so you might come on and go off, just come on back in. Amen. And while you're at it, go ahead and share the post since we're back on for a little while. Amen. Our Holy Scripture is found in Acts, the ninth chapter, beginning at the 36th verse. There was a believer in Joppa named Tabitha, which in Greek is Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. Verse 36. About this time, she became ill and died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in an upstairs room. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby at midday. So they sent two men to beg him, please come as soon as possible. So Peter returned with them, and as soon as he arrived, they took him to the upstairs room. The room was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and other clothes Dorcas had made for them. But Peter asked them all to leave the room. Then he knelt and prayed, doing to, turning to the body. He said, get up, Tabitha. And she opened her eyes. When she saw Peter. She sat up, he gave her his hand and helped her up. Then he called in the widows and all the believers, and he presented her to them alive. The news spread through the whole town, and many believed in the Lord. And Peter stayed a long time in Joppa, living with Simon, a tanner of hides. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading hearers of his most holy word. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Father and to Yes, 
gonna do? Yes, I do. I messed up. I started my life over again. Clean up what I messed up. I started my life over again. Made up in my mind, I ain't lying no more. Because a liar and a cheater can make it through the door. Gotta clean up, yes I do. What I messed up, hey, hey, hey. Start of my life over again. Yeah, yeah. Gotta clean up, yes I do. What I messed up. Start of my life over again. Made up in my mind, I ain't running no more. I'm going back to church. I'm going to walk right through the door. Got to clean up. Yes, I do. What I mess up. Oh, we all started my life over again. Yeah, I got to clean up. Yes, I do. What I messed up. Started my life. Over again. Made up in my mind, I ain't cheating no more. Cause a cheater and a liar can't make it through the door. Clean up, yes I do. What I messed up, ooh, we all. Yeah, yes I do. What I messed up Started my life over again Made up in my mind I ain't lying no more Because a liar Can't make it through the door Gotta clean up, yes I do What I messed up Ooh, we all Started my life over again Started my life over again. Those of you that feel like I do, let's do better. Those of you that feel like I do, let's do better. What I messed up, yeah, hey, hey, hey. started my life over again, yeah, yeah, gotta clean up what I messed up, started my life over again, those of you that feel like I do, let's do better. Yes, I do. Let's do better. What I 
messed up. Started my life over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say hallelujah. Let the church say thank you, Jesus. How many people got to clean up? How many people got to clean up? Well, they done messed up. We all get a chance to start our life all over again. Let's give the choir a hand clap of praise. Let's give our musicians a hand clap of praise. And now let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The announcements for this week are as follows. We will continue to meet virtually for some events. The schedule of events and the platform by which you can access the events will be emailed to those persons who are on our email list. All others can access the schedule by going to the church's Facebook page or the church's website, gbgville.com. Let me take a moment to highlight a few upcoming events. On Monday, May the 9th, we'll have our community prayer walk, which takes place each Monday at 4 p.m., followed by a virtual Bible discovery team meeting at 5.30 p.m., and our virtual Bible discovery hour, which takes place at 7 p.m. on each Monday. On Tuesday, May the 10th, we have virtual mental health ministry presentation at 7 p.m. And then on Wednesday, May the 11th, we have our virtual prayer meeting, which takes place at 12 noon each Wednesday, and then virtual Real Talk Bible study at 6 p.m., which takes place each Wednesday. On Thursday, May the 12th, we have the adult choir rehearsal, which will take place at 6 p.m., and then on Saturday, May the 14th, the adult choir will rehearse at 10 a.m., and the Daughters of Sarah's brunch will take place at 11 a.m. We do ask, because it is brunch, we want to make sure that we prepare accordingly that you are SVP and that information is located on our website and there should be a flyer in the foyer but if you are able to assist and you would like to contribute make sure you contact Sister Delphine Jackson. Save the date. Reverend Ron Rawls will be preaching and there are several engagements that he has. He has asked that the music ministry and the congregation support each of these engagements and charter bus sign up sheet. Charter bus seat sign up will be in the foyer. So if you plan to attend, make sure you sign up so that we can make sure you have a seat reserved on the charter bus. The itinerary is Sunday, June the 12th at 4 p.m. We will be at St. Paul AME in St. Augustine. On Sunday, June the 26th, at 4 p.m. We will be at Lewis Memorial AME in Jacksonville, Florida. And then on Sunday, July the 17th at 4 p.m. We will be at Mount Olive AME in East Palaka. Also, the Civil Rights Tour to Montgomery, Selma, and Tuskegee will take place on June 2nd through the 4th. And then we have our Family and Friends Day Back to the Future, Sunday, July the 31st, 2022 at 1045 a.m. There will be a picnic on the grounds immediately following the worship service. If you would like to invite your family and friends, we do have invitations. They are in the foyer, and you can take those and mail them to your friends and family. Then we have our marriage retreat at Epworth-by-the-Sea, St. Simons Island, Georgia. That will take place on August the 4th through the 6th, 2022. We only have two rooms left. If you would like to attend, make sure you the registration form and provide the, your deposit and we will reserve those rooms for you. Christian, I believe it's the Christian Education Department has arranged for us to take pictures to memorialize Mother's Day. So we do ask that you please stop in the foyer to have your photo taken. And on behalf of the Christian Education Department, myself and all the members, we would like to say Happy Mother's Day. General announcements, every Sunday, church school will be conducted at 9.30 a.m., and worship service begins at 10.45 a.m. 
This concludes all the announcements that I have. All other announcements will come from our pastor, Reverend Ron Rawls. At this time, I would like to welcome our visitors. Do we have any first-time visitors? If so, I'm going to ask that you stand so that we might acknowledge you and greet you appropriately. I did have one person to sign in. I'm going to start with that person, and then we would just ask anyone else if you would stand so that we can greet you. Do we have Barbara Brown visiting with us for the first time? If you would stand. Good morning. Do we have any other first-time visitors that did not get a chance to sign in? If you would just stand and wave your hand so that we can see you, amen. So to all of our first-time visitors, we do ask that you complete the visitor's card. We do have a visitor's packet. If you don't have one, we would ask that the usher or someone get that to you. If you would complete that out and put the form in the offering tray, we would love to stay in contact with you. On behalf of our pastor, the Reverend Ron Rawls, the officers and members, we welcome you to the worship service of Greater Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church located in Gainesville, Florida. We are so delighted that you all chose to worship with us today. We know that you had a choice, and we are so glad that you chose the Greater Bethel family. At this time, the choir will lead the Greater Bethel family in extending all of our visitors a very special welcome. Come on, Greater Bethel, put those hands together. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, Brandy. I see you. <laughs> if I ain't nobody else gonna get hyped, Brandy gonna get hyped. Come on. Hype it up, y'all. If you find a visitor that you haven't seen in here before, come on, sing this song to him. Oh! Oh! Come on, oh! God bless you. Amen. And we meant that. Amen. Amen. A couple more things I want you all to start signing up for. You all know we have a lot of things going on. And, um, and so we've been talking about the Cancer Disparities Research Collaborative that we partnered with UF Health with. Um, we've gotten all that done. We're ready to start signing up. And so everybody that, uh, that, had, that had an interest in and, and participated in that, Please go ahead and begin getting in contact with Delphine Jackson. We'll get you signed up. And um, let me just read it real quick. It says, we are, seeking, we are seeking information to help prevent cancer and improve cancer care among blacks living in or near East Gainesville, Florida. Participants will complete some questionnaires, have weight and height measured, be given a $30 Visa debit card for participating. To participate, you must live in or near East Gainesville, be black, be at least 40 years old, meet any of the two following, um, be a cancer survivor, have a close relative who has or had breast cancer, colorectal cancer, prostate cancer, lung cancer, or cervical cancer, have obesity, drink alcohol moderately, or smoke, 
All right, and so please contact Delphine Jackson um, so that she can get you signed up. It's four churches in Gainesville that's doing it, um, Williams Temple Church of God in Christ, Spring Hill, uh, Missionary Baptist Church, and Faith Church, along with Greater Bethel are doing this right here so that we can make sure that we have our people included in the research, um, the research information um, to help find a cure for cancer. So please go ahead and get signed up. You meet any, any two of those criteria um, and participate. And, um, and then there will be additional things going on after this initial piece right here um, to where um, there's, there'll, there'll still be a stipend that will be paid um, doing that. I think it's $15 an hour or something like that. And it might be 10 hours a week. I can't think of how many hours a week. But go ahead and get signed up. I'm happy that this right here is going. And the CPR is going good. The CPR class, we brought a CPR class in partnership with UF Health to Greater Bethel once a month. And what we're trying to do, because there's disparity in the, the deaths of sudden cardiac arrest on our side of town. And, um, and I think a lot has to do with, it takes about an average of seven minutes for paramedics to get to you once you call, once you call paramedics. And, um, and so in that seven minutes, what's happening in those seven minutes is important. And, um, and so if a loved one is, um, has experienced sudden cardiac arrest or in need of um, CPR, if we don't have those skills, that means the chances for survival goes down. And so we want to make sure that all of us, all of the people that we know, all of our family and friends have that ability to help sustain life until the professionals get there. And so we're, our goal is to our goal is to certify 50, um, 150 people this year and then 150 people next year. On the fourth Thursday of every month at 5.30, uh, we have the certification class, and it's for children also because adults sometimes, it might, it, um, you might have a cardiac arrest and it might just be an eight-year-old child um, that's there with you, and that eight-year-old child needs to know more than just how to call 911. Um, if they can help sustain life, we had a young boy that was about, I think he was probably about eight or nine years old in the last class. And the last class was very hands-on, taught us how to use AED um, equipment, and um, so very helpful. And so now I've noticed that the class that's coming up in May, there's only three spots left in that class. Um, and so it gets signed up, but we have a class every month. Just go to gbgville.com, and you'll see a tab up at the top that says CPR certification. Click that and sign up for whatever month you want. And, um, and help us equip our village with the ability to save lives. Amen? Amen. All right, everybody that's collected these forms for me, please make sure I get these forms. On, on we had our, our church conference on Tuesday night, a wonderful church conference, and excited about what we're doing, what's still ahead of us. And so those that collected these forms for me, please go ahead and get them turned into me so that I can get them um, turned into I, sister, I appreciate you so much for that. Now let us prepare for our opportunity to give. Here at Greater Bethel, we have a very clear vision for financial stewardship. First, we bring the tithe. The tithe represents 10% of our income or increase. And then once we bought the tithe, we bring an offering, whatever God places on our heart. Then two times a year, on the first Sunday in March, and then the first Sunday in October. And that's what we're working on now, preparing to, to participate 100% in October. We bring a sacrificial offering of a minimum of $250, and that is how we do ministry. I want to thank you for your participation. Um, we were in church conference, and we saw that one place that where we were over budget so far this year is in our giving and community outreach, and that's a wonderful place. That shows where your heart is. Trace the money, you find out where your heart is, and we're doing a very good job of making sure that we support our community. So thank you so much. Our choir will minister, and there's instruction on the screen. I want to thank the people that give virtually. I want to thank you for your faithfulness to this ministry. God bless you.
He woke me, me up this morning. He started me on my way. He did not let me sleep too late. Before he woke me, me right on time. You know he, he woke me up this morning. toward the kingdom of God. All of our children between the ages of 2 through 12, all of our children between the ages of 2 through 12, if you all can come forward now as we prepare for children's church, all of our age, children ages 2 through 12. and some of us, our, our mothers have gone on to be with the Lord, but they put some good stuff inside of us, and for that we say thank you. Amen. I want to give an opportunity for you to have a conversation with God. After you've had a moment to have a conversation with God, one of our ministers will come forward and lead us in a corporate prayer. This
is not an adoration of a lie because there's more than he has he has for me he knows the arms he placed towards me and yet it's, it is not an accident I'm alive because there's more there's a sweet sweet spirit and it's in this place now come on Holy Spirit come on Heavenly Dove come now with all thy quickening powers kindle the flame of sacred love in these cold 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 hearts of ours the Father God in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, we come on this day that is set aside as Mother's Day. We come, oh God, in the ominous manner that we know how. Come, oh God, thanking you for another day's journey. Come, oh God, uh, thanking you for everything and for all things. Because we realize, God, that everything and all things come through and from you. So we stop by on this great day with a prayer of thanksgiving in our hearts. A prayer of thanksgiving embedded deep down in our spirits. Because we know that if it had not been for the Lord on our side, somebody please tell me where we would be. So in spite of all that has already taken place, in spite of all that we have already done and in spite of all that all that we did not do that you told us to do. Father God, we come in the honest manner that we know how. Asking your God just to have mercy. Because Father God, we realize that mercy suits our case. We come in up days and down days. Come in times when the weight of the world is pressing and pushing us down. But Father God, through it all, you have allowed us to stand tall in your house of worship. Uh, just one more time in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, now, God, we stop by just to say thank you. We stop by, oh, God, uh, just to give you all the honor. Uh, and we stop by, oh, God, uh, just to give you the glory. Because uh, we know now, God, uh, that the weight of the world uh, is mean uh, and pushing. Uh, but right now, God, uh, we stop by uh, to ask your God uh, to have mercy uh, on the sick, uh, have mercy uh, on the shut in, uh, have mercy uh, on all the people uh, that is incarcerated uh, behind prison walls. Uh, that little boy, uh, that little girl uh, is on their way uh, to destruction. Uh, but right now, God, uh, you told us uh, if we just call on uh, the name of Jesus, uh, and still God uh, in their hearts uh, that the way of sin uh, is death, uh, but the gift of God uh, is eternal life. Uh, oh God, uh, oh God, uh, oh God, uh, we thank you, God. Uh, for allowing us, oh God, huh, just to come on this day, huh, just to say thank you. Huh. You didn't have to wake us. Huh. You didn't have to shake us. Huh. You didn't have to make us. Huh. You didn't have to beg us. Huh. But one more time, huh, in the name of Jesus, huh, I stop by huh, in spite of huh, all huh, that had been said, huh, in spite of all huh, that had been done, huh, to ask your God huh, to have a little mercy. Huh. I know God. Huh, that mercy, I uh, uh, suits our case, uh, because God, uh, sometime uh, we have stepped out uh, of the bindings uh, of safety. Uh, but right now, God, uh, on this Mother's Day, uh, I ask your God uh, to look on every mother, uh, young or old, uh, on the sound of my voice, uh, all over this world. Uh, they've gone through uh, trials, uh, they've gone through uh, a tribulation. Uh, Cause look at us uh, as men. Uh, they stood by us uh, in our up days. Uh, they stood by us uh, in our down days. Uh, just helping us, oh God, uh, to be the men uh, that we are. Uh, so right now, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, 
Dr. Alexander, I want to say thank you for all that you've done in my life and in others that sits out there. I want you all to thank you all for all that you've done in turning me around from my wicked ways, from my evil ways, just helping me to be the man that I am. So right now, God, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For all of our mothers all over this land, God, thank you for them. Thank you for their endurance. Thank you for their perseverance. Thank you, God, for carrying them thus far. Dr. Banks, I thank you. I thank you, God. Right now, God, just bless our spirit. Just bless our soul. Right now, God, in the name of Jesus, touch Pastor Ross as he brings us the message. Let it be your message, God, that comes from you and not from him. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the church say amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all help me um, with this right here. Everybody should, should have this as a testimony. So it'll be easy for you to help me out. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. say that I Yeah. 
Samuel chapter 1 verses 1 through 8 and this is what the scripture says there was a man named Elkanah who lived in Ramah in the region of Zuth in the hill country of Ephraim he was the son of Jeroam son of Elihu son of Tohu son of Zuth of Ephraim Elkanah had two wives Hannah and Penina Penina had children but Hannah did not each year, Elkanah would travel to Shiloh to worship and sacrifice to the Lord of Heaven's armies at the tabernacle. The priests of the Lord at the time were the two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas. On the days Elkanah presented his sacrifice, he would give portions of the meat to Penina and each of her children. And though he loved Hannah, he would give her only one choice portion because the Lord had given her no children. So Penina would taunt him and make fun of her because the Lord had kept her from having children. Year after year, it was the same. Penina would taunt Hannah as they, would, as they went to the tabernacle. Each time, Hannah would be reduced to tears and would not even eat. Why are you crying, Hannah? Elkanah would ask. Why aren't you eating? Why be downhearted just because you have no children? You have me. Isn't that better than having ten sons? The title of today's word is, when your blessings drop. When your blessings drop. Now, I'm going to show you. I, 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 I want to make sure you all understand the title. So, so in the world of, of music, of artists who've been working on songs for a while and they talk about when that album dropped or when that song dropped. Okay, somebody might not pick that up. So let me try this right here. When you got a refund from the IRS and when that deposit dropped when it hit your account. All right, okay, so somebody still don't have that. So when your retirement check on that day when it when it hits your bank account, that or when it drops, that's what we're talking about. So when we say when your blessing drops, that's what we're talking about. So today we celebrate mothers. Mothers are, are special for many reasons, but but one in particular that sets them apart, they have been entrusted and designed by God to carry and birth forth babies. Amen. Ain't nobody else do that. Only mothers. That's why you got a problem with too many people that have been de designed to be mothers. Yeah, let me go ahead and say it. You, you got problems when we don't follow. There's the, God created this thing a certain way in order for life to be sustained. I know everybody got their choices. But if we go off center and away from God, it's going to be hard for life to be sustained. Amen. God created mothers to birth forth 
children. Babies are blessings, and to be entrusted to carry and nurture blessings, which sustains humanity, shows the favor that God has on women. I mean, a, a baby is a blessing. Sometimes you can't even see the blessing until years later. But to be able to birth forth a baby is a blessing. God, God told Mary, the mother of Jesus, that she was blessed and highly favored. Women, that, that, that's a favor to be able to either birth a child or nurture and raise a child. That's a blessing because you are preparing the next generation in the nurturing that you're doing. Do not compare your journey to anyone else's journey. That, 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 that's, that's where you mess up. When you start comparing your journey to somebody else's journey, that's where you get confused. Your journey is your journey. And person B journey ain't got nothing to do with your journey. How person B operate their house ain't got nothing to do with how you operate your house. How person B raise their children ain't got nothing to do with how you raise your, do not compare your journey to person B's journey. You are, you, 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 you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't care what you've been through. I need somebody to listen to me. You are, I don't care about anybody's opinion of who you are, what you've done, or what you've accomplished. You are fearfully, when God made you, God took his time while you were in your mother's womb began to put you together just like he wanted you to be together. Begin to knit, begin to, to, to shape your character and your, your mind and your personality while, you, while your mother was carrying you. God was putting you together and making it all just right for your journey. So you can't, keep, you can't have your eyes on anybody else's journey. God designed your journey just for you. You've been custom made by God. And no one else's path fits your life like the path that God has designed for you. It don't fit. You, you try to put somebody else's life on, it, it don't fit. Because it wasn't designed for you. You can do it and try to cut, but it's something ain't going to just feel right. It, it's, it, your life is custom made. Anybody wear, 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 wear any custom made clothes? So I, I, I get some of my clothes from looking good. I, I don't know if that might be low for y'all, but that's where, I get my, that's where I get my clothes from. I get my clothes from. But when you buy them clothes, Pants ain't gonna fit. All you need to be, just make sure they fit around the waist, cause they're gonna be too long. But then what you do is take them to the, when you buy clothes from places like that, you already know you got to go to the tailor. And you, you go to the tailor, and they come and they do their little stuff. And when you go pick it up, it's custom made just for you. Can I tell you, your life has been custom made. By God. I, the stuff they, I heard them talking about in church school this morning. The stuff that you've gone through in life, stop giving up. Because it looked like you made too many mistakes. Your life is custom made by God. Don't make, don't let anybody make you think that this blessing that you brought into the world. It might not have been by everybody else's book. You might not have did it like everybody else did, but God still gave you a blessing to nurture 
and your life is custom made by God. You're still special, still wonderfully made. And if somebody don't like it, when I was young, because we didn't, we couldn't curse. And so we'll use words like bump. If somebody don't like it, bump them. God designed you to be you. In verses 1 through 7, it shows us that in life, sometimes we're going to have to deal with some paninas. This dude named Elkin, now God bless him, I don't know where his mind was at. But this brother had two wives. I heard all the brothers behind me, they, when I said two wives, they just groan. Huh. I got two bosses now. I got two supervisors now. Two people telling me what to do. They just groan when I said two wives. This brother had two wives. And one of the wives, he would go every year to take sacrifices to God. And because of Jewish law, he, when he brought the sacrifice in and he gave portions from the sacrifice, he had to give them based on the seed or the blessings that had been brought, had been brought forth by his wife. And so, you know, Penina had some children. And so he, she would get more for her children. It's kind of like you know, you know, on them tax returns, you get so many for each child, the same thing. And so she would get more, and that thing was killing him. She wanted to give her husband a child. She wanted to give her husband a child so bad. And what topped it all was Panana had a nasty attitude. Nana had no sense. Because you know ain't no way in the world you can have two wives in one house and not have no problem. So for Nana, she felt that she was better than Hannah because she got children. And you ain't got none. And so she was just fit. I can see her at the table now. Kicking her under the table. I got, I, don't, I can't remember how many it says she had. But I got, it was a two. Three, four, ten, ten, Jesus. You said ten, Jesus. Oh, I can see under the table now. She acting like she praising God. She all in hand her face. I got ten. I got ten. Trying to throw off. I, I, I can see her now. Just picking and picking and picking. And the more she cried, the more Panana In life, sometimes life just pick at you because of what it says that you don't have. Life just pick and pick and pick and, and have you sad and depressed and getting counseling and, and going through because life picking at what you don't have. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't. You better know what God did when God made you. God says, I know the plan that I have for you. You can't compare yourself to banana. Don't you realize that this man don't even care about banana? This man loves you. And you done lost your joy because you're comparing yourself to banana. And we're going to have to deal with some bananas in life. Sometimes you, 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 don't, you, you, you don't have the job you want to have yet. You don't have the income you want to have yet. Your business is not where you want it to be yet. You're not where you want to be in life yet. And life just picks and picks and picks. Do you know the God that you serve? You can't let life pick at you and make you feel that you're not blessed. When God has said that you are blessed, that settles it. You are blessed. You got to know how to deal with your banana. Somebody today ought to say, banana, you done seen your last tip from me. Panana, you done made me cry for the last time. I am who I am, and I'm going to be who God says I will be. On God's time level, on God's schedule, you're going to have to deal with some Panana. And verse 8 shows that sometimes logic just does not appear 
to be logical when your banana is getting on your last nerve. Banana make you fight because because you, 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 it just don't make sense. Verse eight say he said he, the husband said, "Why are you crying? Why are you crying, Hannah? Why aren't you eating? Why are you so downhearted just because you have no children? Stop looking at what you don't have, woman. Do you know how much I love you?" Woman, do you know how much I care for you? All oh, that little stuff. I, I love you, and there's no doubt. Stephen Wonder can see how much I love you. And you going through all of this right here because Banana keep throwing up her tears. But you know what? As logical as that appears, she still had to deal with the reality that she didn't have what she thought she should have by the time she should have had it. You know how life put pressure on you? Boy, you 30 years old. Y'all, some of y'all sure you are. You paying for that this time. You 30 years old. You ain't settled yet. You ain't figured it out yet. God bless you, mama. God bless you, dad. I'm working on it. Don't let life pick at you so much to where it affects your spirit. You got to know without a shadow of a doubt that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Don't let the paninas cause you to walk around mad all the time. You normally a nice person, but panina done aggravated you so much, you short temper with everybody. You short temper with the kids. You short temper with your spouse. You short temper with your friend. You short temper on the job. You short temper at the red light. Then lost your mind because they on the phone and the light done changed and you about to miss the light. Now you done lost your mind and wearing your horn out. Life gonna go on to mess up your whole morning because you missed the light. Life ain't that serious. It ain't that deep. But the paninas will the paninas will make you act in ways that you were not designed to act. Slow down. Breathe. Life ain't that serious. Don't let panina get on your last nerve. But you know what? This situation right here required more than logic from her husband. Hannah needed a word from the Lord. That's why it's so important to do what you all keep doing. That's why it's so important, you all, you all that are watching virtually, to do what you all are doing. Put yourself in a situation, a position to hear from God. Because sometimes with life, you can, you, can, you can talk your way through it, and you can, it can make sense. You, you, you don't worry about that right there. God's an on-time God. You know, he's going to come right on. I, I hear you, but, man, I'm still mad. Sometimes you need a word designed just for you. And Hannah. The logic, she, she, she needed more than her husband saying, baby, I love you. She needed to hear a word from God. And in verses 17 through 18, Eli the priest, he spoke a word over Hannah's life, and it was just the medication she needed. In verses 17 through 18, it says, in that case, Eli said, go in peace. She was messed up. She was messed up. I mean, she was so messed up. To where Han- Panana had her mind so messed up, she out there talking, and, and she talking to herself. Y'all know how the folk make you go outside, and you talking to yourself. Hey, shit, I'm going to bust in the mouth. I'm going to, what they try me, one more time. I need to try it, hey, boy. You don't know. You don't know what I used to be. You know, y'all know when you're talking to yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I'm up in the church acting like a fool. She talking to herself. And the folk look at her and they say, is she drunk? Uh-huh. I'm like, no, it's too early. Yeah. It's early in the morning. It's too early to be drinking. Yeah. But Panana hadn't got in her head so much, they thought she was crazy. Then Eli the priest came up to her. And Eli said in verses 17 through 18, says, in that case, Eli said, go in peace. 
May the God of Israel grant the request you have asked of him. Oh, thank you, sir, she exclaimed. Then she went back and began to eat again, and she was no longer sad. Pam was crying, God, I hear what everybody's saying, I hear what, but I want a baby. I want a child. Going through. And the priest heard her. Spoke a word from God, said, everything good. God heard you. He's been hearing you the whole time. Now God has told me to tell you. Right now, it's some stuff that you're waiting on God to hear. Just keep praying. It's some stuff that you're waiting on God. Just keep praying. Just keep praying. Don't let Panana run you crazy. God's going to speak when God's prepared to speak to your situation. And when God spoke, it said she stopped crying. And she went. She was no longer sad. And she went and had a grilled cheese sandwich. And everything was good. It said she went and ate. And everything was fine. But then in verses 19 through 20. That it says that the entire family got up early the next morning and went to worship the Lord once more. Then they returned home to Rama, a whole nother year. When Elkanah slept with him, been doing it all these years. Hadn't got what she wanted, but at this time, at the appointed time, when Elkanah slept with Hannah, the Lord remembered her when folk thought she was crazy. The Lord remembered her when Benina had got on her last nerve. The Lord remembered her when she was crying and, and when she was confused. The Lord remembered her plea. And verse 20 says, And in due time, in due time, when it was due, in due time, she gave birth to a son. She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. I asked God for him. I was, I was going through, and I, I couldn't feed my children, and I, and I asked God for income. I, I was suffering, and I didn't feel good about myself. I asked God for a, a spiritual makeover. I, I asked God. She said she named him Samuel because I cried to God. God heard my prayer and answered my prayer. Who is this baby Samuel? As a child, this Samuel that, that she gave birth to, Samuel served at the tabernacle, ministering to God with the priest of Eli. Didn't think she could have a baby, but, but God knew exactly what God was doing. God can't give us the blessing too early because God got this thing all lined up to be just right. And the Bible says this Samuel that she gave birth to, that he served in the tabernacle ministering to God with the priest Eli. He was a faithful young servant who had God's favor. One night, God spoke to Samuel while he was sleeping, and, and the boy mistook the Lord's voice for Eli. This happened three times until the, the old priest realized that God was speaking to Samuel for himself. Samuel was growing up. He was no longer this little baby. He was no longer this prayer. But he had been birthed forth, and now God was speaking to him for himself. I tell you, your blessings grow up, and your, your blessings mature, and your blessings move on. That's the kind of God that we say, who is this baby Samuel? Samuel grew in wisdom and became a prophet. Uh, following a great Philistine victory uh, over the Israelites, uh, Samuel became a judge uh, and rallied the nation against the Philistines at, at Mizpah. He established his house at Ramah, uh, riding a circuit to various cities uh, where he settled uh, the people's disputes. Uh, who is this Samuel? Can I tell you uh, that that thing that's on the inside of you uh, that's bothering you uh, because you know you're supposed to have it. Uh, can I tell you uh, if you just trust God uh, with all your heart, mind, and soul, uh, that blessing uh, will turn out to be a blessing uh, if you don't let the paninas uh, frustrate you. Uh, somebody say, Yeah, uh, who is this baby Samuel? Uh, God used this Samuel uh, to anoint uh, the first two kings of Israel. Uh, he 
anointed Saul uh, and he anointed King David. Uh, somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. This baby uh, that Hannah prayed for. Uh, this baby uh, that Hannah cried for. Uh, God used this baby uh, to shake the world. Uh, somebody say yeah. There's something special uh, on the inside of you. Uh, you can't see a bump yet. Uh, you can't feel a kick yet. Uh, but you know that is there. Uh, and what I'm telling you, uh, never give up your joy uh, because you can't feel the baby kicking. Uh, never give up your joy uh, because you can't see the baby growing. Uh, if God says uh, that it's in you, uh, I double dog dare you. Uh, to believe God at his word. Somebody say yeah. Earlier this week, I saw a story on social media. And the story goes this way. It says an elephant and a dog became pregnant at the same time. Three months down the line, the dog gave birth to six puppies. Six months later, the dog was pregnant again. And nine months later, it gave birth to a dozen more puppies. Somebody say, yeah. And the pattern kept continuing. The dog kept having puppies and the elephant had nothing on the 18th month. The dog, that's Penina. On the 18th month, the dog, that's your haters. On the 18th month, the dog, that's the ones that always got something to say about your life and what you doing. On the 18th month, the dog, that's the one that you occupying so much space in the head the dog came to the elephant and the dog asked the question to the elephant are you sure that you're pregnant I got all uh, these puppies uh, to show for it. Uh, but are you sure uh, that you're pregnant? Uh, we became pregnant uh, at the same time, uh, on the same date. Uh, I have given birth uh, three times uh, to a dozen puppies, uh, and now they are grown uh, and starting to make puppies uh, for themselves. Uh, but you still pregnant. Uh, what's going on? Uh, your business still hadn't started up. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you still single. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you still struggling. Uh, what's going on? Uh, you are you sure uh, that you you pregnant. Uh, I got blessings uh, to show for my pregnancy, uh, but I ain't seen nothing uh, in your life. Uh, the elephant uh, replied, uh, there is something uh, that I want you to understand uh, that what I'm carrying uh, is not a puppy, uh, but it's an elephant. Uh, I only give birth uh, to one uh, in two years, uh, but when my baby hits the ground the earth shakes when my baby crosses the road human beings they stop and watch in admiration what I carry it draws attention so what I'm carrying is mighty and great I stop by to encourage somebody under the sound of my voice don't lose faith when you see others receive the answers to their prayers and it seems like it's in record time don't be envious of the testimonies of others if you haven't received your blessing do not despair and be not dismayed God will take care of you you ought to say to yourself my time is coming and when my blessing hits the earth's surface 
people will watch in admiration. Don't compare your journey to anyone else. Can I tell you, when your blessing drops, folk could be in awe. When your blessing drops, folk will step back. When your blessing drops, the earth will shake. When your blessing drops, somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. Am I preaching to anybody? You can't see it yet, but I got greatness on the inside of me. And when my blessing drops, the world will be changed. Give him glory. Lift his name. Tell him thank you. God told me to tell you to shout right now. Because when your blessing drops, it will take the world by storm. Give him praise for tomorrow. Give him praise for the drop. Somebody say yeah. Somebody say yeah. When your blessing drops, come on, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Your blessing ain't got nothing to do with nobody else's journey. But I can't tell you, when your blessing drops, all the world gonna know. The world will know. Thank you, God. Right now, I want to offer the opportunity for somebody, anybody, somebody to take advantage of three things that God is offering this morning. You've been letting Panana drive you crazy, but today you've gotten refocused. Today you got it all straightened out. Today you understand. If you want to give your life to Christ, I want you to come and put your knees on this pad down here and kneel at this chancellor rail. If you want to recommit your life to Christ, say, Panana, you done, you done lost your mind. I done cried for the last time. I'm good. I'm good. Because when my blessing drop, for all your dogs going to be barking. Oh! Oh! Your dogs going to be howling when my blessing drop. You want to recommit your life to Christ? Come and kneel at this altar. If you want to make greater Beth your church home, you say, you know what? Man, folk been feeding me whipped cream. They got some substance over here. And you want to make Greater Bethel your church home, I want you to come and kneel at the altar. While the choir ministers, I want you to come if one of those appeals fits your life. If you're on social media and you want to make Father answer one of, one of those appeals, I want you to put it in the chat. I'm looking at the chat. You want to give your life, want to recommit your life, you want to make your Greater Bethel your church home, I'm looking, I'm looking. Say bless, say bless, say bless, bless, say bless, say bless, everybody ever say we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we're blessed, we cast out every stronghold for the devil. We're blessed in the field. Anybody need to respond? Come now, come now. Because I tell you, when your blessing drops, it's going to shake the world.
Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise. You may be seated. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. Our children are coming back in. This is what I need to happen. I need for the men to get in position. I need for the men to get in position. All the men, men, if you're not in the choir, just follow these men right here. Go back and Brother Darren will tell you what to do. But I need for the men all to go to the back where Brother Darren is. And, and then Brother Rod will give you instructions. Amen. Amen. There you go, brother. There you go. Amen. Amen. On the front, you can bring them up front up here. Amen. Amen. Yeah, they say what they want by black men. Pump y'all, black men on fire. Amen. Brother looking good. Brother looking good holding that thing down. Amen. So, amen, while the men are working out their things. But I think, brothers, I think we're in position to where we, I believe we can do two, brothers. I believe we can do two. I think we can do two. Amen. And so the men are getting their instructions. The children are sitting right here. Then y'all can sit some other ones on the front row up there on the other side. All right, good job. They're looking good. Ooh, look, they got the little thing. Now, this is what I need to happen. All right. Baby, do me a favor. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right, because the one that can't stand, I'm going to like sit there. So, yeah. Baby, pull that, pull, pull, that, pull the rope and go to the, yeah, go to that one. Let's break the law right there real quick. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, Judge, I'm sorry, Judge. We're not breaking the law. <laughs> judge, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So the brothers all, brothers all, y'all all, all together? Brothers, y'all come line up, come line up, come, come make a line to, to the fourth row and then back, and then do the same on each one of them sides. Come on up, come up to the fourth row, and then the rest of them will line behind you. Brothers are getting in place. There you go, there you go, there you go. Stop right there, brother. All right. Y'all, there you go. Y'all got it. There you go. Make sure all the brothers are in place. Good job, good job. This is what I need. While the brothers getting in place, I need all the mothers, whether biological, whether surrogate, whether, whether whatever, you served as a mother to somebody, a step, whatever. I need all the mothers in the house to come to the front. I need all the mothers in the house to come to the front. If you're able to stand, I want you to stand in front of this chancellor rail and face the audience. If you're not able to stand, I want you to sit on the front row. I want you to sit on the front row. There you go. All the mothers. Come on, mama. Come on, mamas. And if you ain't a mama yet, just like Hannah, don't, put, don't rush that thing. God will do it, and God is ready for it to be done. Boy, we got so many mamas. I need for some of y'all to start going in front of them. There's so many. I ain't got space for y'all. I need for some of y'all to start going. There we go. Come on, mama. Is that Chloe? What's up, baby? Good to see you. All right, we got all the mamas, yep. All right, come on, y'all. Come on, mamas. Come on, mamas. We ain't got space for all the mamas. Good, good, good. All right, there you go. We got, we starting lines over there. Y'all got flowers? All right, down this one right here. Y'all come here. Come down this aisle right here. Come on, all brother people. Y'all come down there. Come on, all the, all the brothers, all the brothers. All right. All right, we got all the brothers lined up, all the brothers lined up. All right, all the brothers. And brothers, y'all know how much y'all, what y'all going to give each. Brother Darren already told you, you're going to give. Jesus, I might, we might have to go back to one. One, two, three, four, four. Count them for me real quick. Count them for me. Is that more than, is that more than 50? Count them for me, somebody. All right. Okay, go ahead and get, get one. No, y'all showed up. So go, but that, that, was the, that, that was the written plan anyway. We got 100. Okay, so give one. 
to each, amen, to each, to each of these mothers that are up here. But what's going to happen? Not yet, not yet. Wait for me to start singing. Hold on. Wait for me. I'm going to sing a song. I'm going to sing a song. And, brothers, I just need y'all to rock. Go ahead. Okay, so first, young children, I want y'all to go find your mother, and whatever y'all just gave, made, go give it to your mother. Young children, stand up and go give your gifts to your mother. I'm going to sing now. All right, the children did their part. All right, DJ, give me a little bit more volume. So I can hear the music, so I can sing. Okay. All right, brothers, go ahead and bless the mothers. And brothers, I think we have enough. We're blessing these mothers. And with the extra that you have, go find all these beautiful young queens out here and give them a rose also. Now, brothers, this y'all right here. I did my part. Y'all singing this part. But this, if y'all got all the sisters, go get those young beautiful queens out there in the audience. They're not mothers yet, but go get them beautiful young sisters out there and get them a rose. <laughs> You're welcome. And women, don't go anywhere yet. We got something else we got to do. Y'all go bless them young sisters. Go bless them young sisters. They out there sitting out there. Thank you, Darrell. Thank you, Darrell. Go bless them young sisters, the young queens. Good job, good job. Do all my queens, all my queens sitting out there in the audience, do y'all have a do y'all have a rose? All my queens? All right. Lady, you got you one, baby? There we go, good job. All my young queens. All right, good job. All right, I need somebody to come. Reverend Young, I need you to go get my phone. I need a big picture. I need a picture from the front up there. Hey, rep, you not taking a picture, Rep Young? No, you should. Let, hey, let me get one of y'all. Hey. <laughs> Hold on. All right, go, go ahead, because I don't want no feet now. Hey, somebody going to take this picture right. Go get my camera. Cody got it. Get it to Cody, Rev Young, give it to Cody. I trust you, bro, but I want their faces on this one. <laughs> all right. Go back, go back far enough, Cody, to where you can get all the sisters in there. All the sisters. I want all the sisters. I got Sister Davis all the way on that side. Sister Davis, y'all come around. Monty, y'all come around. All y'all come around this way. I gotta get me a good picture. Come on, sister, come on in, come on in. Cody, you got everybody yet? If you still need to come in. I love you. Oh. <laughs> Cody, you got everybody? You still need to come in. All right. All right, he about to count. One, two, three. Jeez. One, two, three. GB, one, two, three, I love my mama. Amen, we got him. All right, God bless you. Everybody have a wonderful day. Peace be unto you.